Hello and good morning. I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that wished me a happy birthday. I, I was so happy. I did not expect that. But I was happy. You know, I don't I don't work on my birthday. I don't do nothing on my birthday. Even when I had a nine to, nine to five, I would take off on my birthday. I was like, I refuse to do any work. So all I did for my birthday was I, I just pampered myself. I did my toes, did my bath, did my hair. You know, I just took care of my, I did what I wanted to do. I didn't do nothing else. I didn't go outside. I didn't do nothing. I did whatever the hell I wanted to do. <laughs> and I had a good day. So just thank you for everyone that did wish me a happy birthday. Like, thank you for that. And uh, moving forward, okay. So I normally never, never. I don't. I never disable the comments, but you know, people, people in the Bronx because I'm in the Bronx. I'm in New York City, you know, and people were marching. They were marching for Palestine, marching for Israel. They had their flags, you know. They were representing their country. New York City has many different cultures here. So it's there's no discrimination. There's no hate. You know, the Bronx is a Latin community. Yes, but we have many other people here also. We have Asians, we have Indian, we have Arabic. We have all different kind of people here. We have Africans. Like everybody is here. So if somebody wants to represent where they come from, they represent it. They want to stand for something, stand for something. You know, I can respect that because they are taking a stand for their country. They want to speak for their country. They could be hurt by what is going on and they just want to stand for their country. I respect that. In the comments, somebody was saying, oh, they're ignorant or why is the Bronx marching for? I'm like, yo, like people so stupid. And then it's like, you know, you can't say, you can't say certain things because then, then they're going to get angry. And then it's just like, yo, just let a person live. Like, let them do what they want to do. Like, if they want to represent for something I'm proud of them that they're representing. They're they're standing up for what they believe in. They they just want to show support. Let them show support. You know, people support the gay pride parade. They support it was a movement, the Black Lives Matter movement. Like they marched for the Black Lives Matter movement. And it's like why <laughs> I don't understand like why does other people get angry when you stand for something? It's like I'd rather stand for something than stand for nothing and be, you know, and just be tricked into doing things that you don't want to really do. And you're tricked into doing things that you're going to regret later. And like, oh my God, I shouldn't have done that. Like, yeah, if you stood for something, <laughs> you know, you wouldn't be going through things because you spoke up for yourself. But whatever, that's what the comments, because it was a 15 second video. And I was getting all these hate comments. I was like, yo, and I usually, I usually comment. I usually comment and I try to, you know, explain. But I was like, people were getting real, like, mad. I was like, what the fuck? Why are they so mad? I was like, you know, I don't got time. I was like, my birthday weekend. I am not trying to be upset with these motherfuckers. Like, you know what? I just disabled it. And I went to sleep because they were marching like 10 o'clock at night, 9 o'clock. Like, it's dark outside. I'm like, let me disable the comments because I don't, I don't got time for this. You know, I still do the return of senders. I do the return of senders every day. Every day I do the return of senders. All the return of sender does, it returns that negative energy back to wherever the hell it came from like people sit here and they do the worst they wish us the worst they don't want us to have this they don't want us to have that and it's like you know we could send it back right like we could send it back like it, it is no thing to send it back it's no thing to go and buy some tea lights could just go buy some tea lights be like you know what 
I'm going to do a return of sender. And I'm going to send all this energy back. It's like God is real. God is real. God is going to be there for you. God is going to defend you. God is going to protect you. God is going to watch over you. You know, you are his child. There's more evil than there is good people in the world. And it's like you just have to know how to take care of yourself, protect yourself. You know, prayer is powerful. Prayer is powerful, you know, and your voice is everything. It's like you have to speak up for yourself. You have to defend yourself because if you don't defend yourself, nobody is going to defend you. They're going to sit there and they're going to play stupid, act like they don't see nothing and they see everything, but nobody's going to stick up for you. Nobody's going to say nothing. They're just going to watch you go through your shit and not say anything and hope that nobody else says anything it's like you know what <laughs> i'm gonna speak up for myself i'm gonna defend myself and i'm gonna do whatever i gotta do to you gonna hear me <laughs> you know so i'm gonna do my return of senders i don't know who is doing what i don't i don't know you know the only way i know when a person is sitting there and they're doing work I can know someone has ill will against me. But how I know is they start going through difficult times within their own life. And I'm like, you know, they shouldn't be going through this difficult times. But they're going through difficult times just because they're wishing harm on others. And then it backfires. It's like you can't do evil on to good people because it's going to come back to you. And it's like... It's like to do evil, it's like, it's just so low vibrational. It's the lowest of the low. And it's like, all you got to do is believe in God. You got to grow. You got to heal from your own childhood wounds and traumas. And you got to get better. You got to get stronger. And nothing can affect you. God is real. Like, you don't have to sit there and do harm onto others. You don't got to hate nobody. Like, you know, focus on yourself. And move forward. <laughs> move forward. Take care of yourself. Do things for yourself. Put all that focus. They got all that focus on doing harm on to others. And it's like, yo, like you could actually focus on yourself and do something creative with your life if you stop doing this shit. But, you know, you got to let people be people. Um, all you have to do to make a return of thunder, you can use any candle. Any candle. It doesn't matter the brand of candle, the kind of candle. You just have to get a candle. Let me see. You just have to get a candle and write return to sender. Those three words, return to sender. Return to sender. And that's it. You have a return to sender. Anyone can do a return to sender. But I recommend rec <laughs> return senders are only for innocent people, people that's not out here doing harm onto others, wishing the worst, like doing evil shit. Like you can't do a return sender if you're doing evil onto others because and then all the evil that you're doing onto others is going to come back to you even faster. So you can't do a return sender if you out here doing fuck shit like you can never do a return to thunder i mean you could do it if you want your karma to come back faster you can do it but this is only for innocent people anyway it just takes three words the more you do at one time the stronger it is that's why i always do more than one and i do three five seven nine like <clears throat> the more you do the better it is that's pretty much it. I've just been minding my business. I feel better. My cold is is gone. My cold is gone. And what else? What else? I've been burning ancestor money and doing return of Sundays because I burn ancestor money on my birthday also because it's like I'm alive. Like I'm just happy just to be here. I'm happy to be here. I'm thankful to the ancestors. So I'm burning the money and I'm just like I'm just thankful I'm just thankful to be here and and I'm thankful to the ancestors because people been doing all this shit all this stuff to me and it's just like I just 
want to say thank you, ancestors. So I thank the ancestors. I burn ancestor money on my birthday, and I do nothing else. I just take care of myself, focus on myself, and do whatever I want to do for myself. But that's all I did on my birthday. Burn ancestor money, return the sunders, and mind my business. Drink my water, <laughs> and mind my business. That's pretty much it. But thank you to everyone that did just take that little bit of time and just say happy birthday. I was like, oh, I I was just, I'm happy. I was happy. I had a good day. And thank you for that. And I hope everyone had a good weekend too. But I'll come back here later. Keep doing your return of senders. And it's the beginning of the week. It's going to be a good week. We're going to move forward. And it's just going to be great. The sun is shining. It's going to be a good week. <laughs> so always leave with love. Stay positive. Vibe high. My shirt. Leave with love. Leave with love. Five, five, five. That's my handle. So you can find me. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Snapchat. I'm on TikTok. And I'm on YouTube. I also have a Facebook page. It's Lead With Love Inc. That's the nonprofit organization. So if you want to look for the nonprofit, the page of Lead With Love Inc. is Lead With Love 05. My voice is still shaky. Holy shit. Um, but everything is good. But that's my Facebook, Lead With Love 05. So always <laughs> Lead With Love. Bye.